Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman and this is the Robert's Meat Cleaver. Robert has a, uh, a very, very loyal following for a lot of his shorter, wider hybrids, uh, namely the White Diamond and the White Diamond II and, and the derivatives of those boards. And what the Meat Cleaver is focused on is, is taking those boards and the people that ride those boards and giving a board that has more bend to the rocker and more foil on the rail and a little bit more release in the tail so when that surfer is riding in better waves they have a board that's going to fit in those waves better and then also be able to handle the power of that wave better and so that's where the meat cleaver comes about it also makes the meat cleaver an incredibly good single board quiver if you're in that range of white diamond to better surf and you want to have one board this is a really good board to look at. So basically starting with a White Diamond 2, which a lot of people are familiar with, uh, it has a very similar outline in the nose, although it does have a little bit more rocker and it's a little bit more foiled in the forward half of the board compared to a White Diamond. You look at the back of the board, obviously in the White Diamond it has a real real wide diamond tail uh, with a large, with a large uh, tail block and very angular in the back of the board. The meat cleaver has a round tail uh, in the back of the board and with a reduced area in the back compared to a white diamond. And it also has a little bit more tail rocker and it's also a little bit more foiled to the rails of the board. All of these things, whether it be the additional rocker in the, in the front of the board, the additional rocker out the back of the board, and the more foil in the rail throughout the board, all of these things are gonna make the board easier to control in better surf, and also easier to go through turns at a really high rate of speed. So if, you're, if you were to take a white diamond through in better surf and go as fast as you possibly can and then try and land to a turn with that wide, thick tail, it's not gonna wanna hold into the water, it's gonna wanna skip or bounce out. This board, just by just taking a little bit of area out, and this isn't, by no means is this a narrow, like you know round pin or pin tail it's just basically a round tail or a thumb tail uh, by just taking a little bit of that area it allows the tail to be more neutral at higher speeds all of the uh not all but the majority of the uh of the meat cleavers that you're going to see are five fin convertibles because this board will definitely benefit uh using it either thruster or quad one depending on your preferences and two if you're trying to widen the range of the board if you're riding it in, in, at the bottom end in real mushy gutless surf. Uh, going with a quad is gonna help you generate more speed down the line. Also, if you're riding it at the, at the very upper end of its range, uh, in something that you really should be on a much narrower board, uh, putting the quad in will also give the board a little bit more hold in, in those steeper, larger waves. So tri-fin or quad, both are an option on this board. But the cleaver, you look at it, it's just, it's got really clean lines to it. It has a lot of the things that Robert does on all of his boards, like the, the rolled rails up forward, you know, so there's really no wear for this board. By having just a little bit of extra nose kick and having that rolled rail up front, it's really gonna save you on a lot of those, a lot of those late drops where something flatter in the front and something edgier in the front would grab and, and pitch you over the front. So it has those rolled rails up front, nice tucked under edge, the whole rest of the length of the board. And then, like we said, just a little bit more tail kick out the back compared to uh, a white diamond and more foil throughout the whole rail from the, from the tail all the way to the nose compared to the white diamond. It's the meat cleaver. Great all-arounder from Roberts. Um, another question you might have on this board, and I'd say this is probably the last question that people would have as, as far as common questions, would be, you know, how does this differ from the dream catcher because there's also a board in the roberts line called the dream catcher the dream catcher is flatter up front it's it goes wider up front more quickly and it's also uh, a little bit fuller in the rail in the first half of the board so the dream catcher uh has incredible paddle power and it has incredible wave catching ability and it, it's more of a drawn out turn uh, you know more for scraping into bombs and getting barrels and and riding bigger waves where this board uh, although it does ride the barrel really well it's definitely looser in the front of the board and it's more foiled in the front of the board and and looser off the tail in in tighter snaps than the dream catcher is so the dream catcher is a better full-on step up board 
uh, where this board is going to be better, you know, mid-range, and you can ride it in actually in pretty small surf as well, pretty close to as small as the White Diamond, uh, and, and still have it feel loose, like it's not too much uh, of a board or too tracky of a board. Uh, so that's the differences between this and the Roberts Dreamcatcher. Again, it's the Roberts Me Cleaver, a great derivative, again, of that White Diamond series. Uh, and a board that you want to use uh, either as a single board or if those are your bread and butter boards and you want something for just a little bit better surf, this is your perfect go-to board in the Roberts lineup. It's the Robert Meat, it is the Roberts Meat Cleaver. If you have any more questions, you can call us at the shop, 252-987-6000, or you can check it out on our website, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.